Hi, let's look some special case of a quadratic inequalities. So, uh, for example, this question, uh, this is a quadratic inequalities, right? It's a quadratic inequalities. So, there are many common mistakes that students do where they bring over 25 and they square root. Uh, that is wrong, okay? Because this is inequality. So, we have a different approach of solving and quadratic inequality. So, I'm going to show you how to solve this by 25x squared. Always make it become a general form, alright? Uh, always in the general form. So, minus 24, less than 0. Uh, so, now, you have to factorize this. Okay, you have to factorize. You can using the method of difference here. Because there are no x here. There are no bx here, right? There are no bx here. So, you can try to using this uh, square of difference. Right? Which is a minus b, a plus b. Okay? Uh, so, because of this, uh, 24 is not a perfect square. Right? 24 is not a perfect square. So, but you can rewrite this as uh, 5x to the power of 2. Uh, for 25x squared, 5 power of 2, x power of 2. Right? I try to write in this form. Right? With the a square minus the b square. So, how about uh, negative 24 here? So, I can rewrite this as square root of 24 squared, less than 0. Right? Because 24, if you square root, if you go and square, you are getting 24, right? So this one becomes B square. So A, this is going to become B. So follow that formula, you will have 5x minus then square root of 24, right? And the other one will be 5x plus with square root of 24, right? Uh, A minus B, A, B. A minus B, A plus B. Alright, then come up with these uh, uh, two factors here, two linear factors there. Then again, the same thing, uh, this special case here is if let's say you have no bx, the term, so then you can factorize by using the uh, square of difference. So now, then this is, uh, then you can draw the quadratic using graphical approach. So you have one value to be negative square root of 24 over 5 and the other one will be square root of 24 over 5, right? So because this is less than, alright, less than, so we will choose the region here, right? Uh, this region here. So some student may ask, sir, what about uh, if this case is happened to be uh, greater than? Okay, I can change the question now become greater than. Okay, if you become greater than, uh, if this case is happened to be greater than, then of course the the area will be above the x-axis. Uh, this is the region. Uh, this is the region. Or highlight the axis will be better for you to understand. Uh, this is the region, the value of x, when the graph is positive, right? Uh, when it's positive. So if I change the question, then this will be the region. If less than if you, if you change less than, this will become less than 0, then you will choose the region below here. So for example, I have to tell you, I choose, if I write greater than, so this is the region. So how to write your answer? It will be x less than negative square root of 24 over 5. Either this region or this region. So or x uh, greater than square root of 24, uh, this region greater than, right? Uh, the axis start from here, go beyond uh, 5. So this will be your answer for this question. Right? Uh, so without using calculator to getting decimal value, we live in a third form. So after you're learning the third form, actually square root of 24 can be further reduced. You can reduce become uh, 4 times 6, right? So you can write as 2 square root of 6 because this is square root of 4 times with square root of 6, right? So you have 2 square root of 6. So if you want to be perfect, uh, then this will be your solution. It's the same thing, but you simplify, right? So it becomes negative 2 square root of 6 over 5 or x greater than 2, right? 2 square root of 6 over 5. Either one is okay, but this is perfect. Alright, so that's all for this question.